flight with a screaming baby? I've held a screaming baby during yes. the flight and yes. tried to calm them. It's very difficult for parents and everybody on board, but now there's an in-flight nanny service. And other airlines have kid-friendly zones. We've heard about those as well, sure. right? Airlines trying to figure out new ways to deal with this. Patrick Alwood, live with one of these innovations. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hi, good morning to you guys. We've all heard about the flying nun. What about the flying nanny? This next story certainly falls under the category of doing things differently, a unique approach. What we're talking about, the name of the airline is Etihad Airways, and what it is offering is uh, something for stressed out parents, a flying nanny. The National Airline of the United Arab Emirates has launched an ad in-flight service offering those nannies. What's that you say you heard? Bright flying nannies dressed in bright orange aprons. Flying nannies will not be hard to find on board. In the past two months, Etihad Airways has trained 300 employees to take on the role, coming to the aid of any parent in need of help with a crying baby or a Oh, they trained 300. An airline spokesman says, quote, flying with a young family can be a daunting task, even for the most experienced travelers. The flying nanny demonstrates our understanding and commitment to making the journey as relaxing as possible. Now, it would be a little hard for U.S. Airways to offer this because it would be add on costs. Etihad is a state-owned airline. What are parents saying about this? You'll hear what they are saying in their own words coming up at 8.30 and 9.45. But in the meantime, if you want to join our conversation, go to our Fox Chicago News Facebook page. Tell us how you feel. Is it a bit too much? Nah, you don't want me to go to a Facebook page and tell you what I feel. Offered to you in the uh, friendly skies when your kid is stressed out and stressing out those people around you. I'd like to hear from you. Reporting live from uh, the Displains Oasis overlooking O'Hare, Patrick Elwood, Fox 32. Now back to you guys in the studio. Okay, do you see what this was here? First of all, the key number there was 300. Okay? Do you understand what just was said there? You can't handle your kids. We're going to step in and we're going to handle your kids for you. That's exactly what's being proposed there. They're just doing it in a nice, friendly way. Oh, yes, it's a daunting task to make sure that your kids do what the fuck you tell them to do. Do you understand how they're weaving this how they're making it look like, oh, it's all for the good of the country. It's all for the good of the people. It's not. It's taking away anything that's yours. That's exactly what that is. You've got to understand what this agenda is. You, are, you think you're in slavery now? <laughs> the next step is, oh, we're not going to wait for you to ask for help. We're just going to do it. We're going to take your kids. That's what this is. Don't, why can't people see this? It's the easiest thing in the world to see. Look, look, through the, look beyond the smiles and the helpful hand and look at the dagger that's behind their back. This, this age that's coming up has nothing but evil in it. There's no good, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. We're going to help out. And, you know, we're doing it for your children. No, you're not. You're conditioning the children. And you are being conditioned as well to go ahead and let this shit happen. If people don't stand up, we will be back right in World War II, and the Third Reich will, will, it will basically be reestablished. What do you think George Bush was talking about, the thousand points of light? What do you think all that is? That's the thousand-year reign of, of Hitler, when he wanted a thousand-year reign of the Third Reich. The New Testament is an Aryan book. The Old Testament is a, is a Semitic book. Okay? It's two different it's two totally different philosophies. You notice the you notice that the New Testament has a book of revelations in it, which is the end. The Old Testament doesn't. Okay? The Bible's going to play itself out, but a lot of this stuff is being contrived by man on his own. Everything that's written in Revelations is going to come to pass. You know why? Because these guys are going to make sure that it does. Whether they're, whether they're aware that they're doing it or whether it's by divine hand uh, doing this, it's going to come to pass. Okay? You better start learning how to stand up against this shit now because when it comes down, you're not, you, when you go against the system, you're going to be killed. You will be jailed just like it says. You'll be jailed and you'll be killed. Oh, well. But it's better than being jailed here forever.
You better make a stance. You know, I mean, I don't really usually get into a, uh, a spiritual rant, but I'm telling you, there's only there's only one God and there's one Son, Jesus Christ. That's it. Now, whether you choose to to accept that or not, that's your business. I'm not here. You know, my whole mission here, what I'm doing, has been to show you how slick these guys are by by putting codes in and making and making everybody worship their thing without even their knowledge. That's all that I'm doing. On a spiritual level, you're going to have to pick a side. Are you going to go with the flow of this place? Or are you going to go against it? Because if you go against it, it's going to be rough. And if you go with it, it's going to be rough as well. But but you may you may uh, find out in the end that, that you were correct for fighting it. Because that's what I personally believe. I can't choose for, for you. You have to do that. And that this is why this is such a pivotal point in this whole thing is because you have to make up your mind which way you're going to go with this thing. You can't stand. This is one time where you can't stand in the middle because they're not going to allow you to. You're either going to be for the system or you're going to be against it. Unless you think that you know somewhere where you can run butt ass naked around in a freaking uh, in a forest or a jungle where you ain't going to be tied to nothing and you're going to eat crickets for the rest of your fucking life. You're still in the system. Figure out which side of it you want to be on. 